outrage after 9-11 memorial honoring five fallen firefighters is vandalized. Cut down. Police say the flagpole was just cut down and graffitied, and the eagle that was on top found lying next to a nearby church sign also destroyed. And as police search for the vandals, who did it? We learn of another similar incident in a nearby town. New York State Assemblyman Colin Schmidt joins us now. He is also an active duty corporal uh, in the Army National Guard. And your dad, we understand, was a first responder on that day. Colin, first off, what did you see when you saw it? Well, good morning, Brian. Thank you for having me on today. It's... Uh it's really a place of coming together, the 9-11 Memorial in Washingtonville. And when we went this week after the news broke that uh, it had been desecrated, it was really just devastating to see that somebody could be that depraved to go in and destroy and deface a memorial to the Washingtonville Five, five brave men, FDNY members who sacrificed their lives fighting terror on our own soil. But we also saw countless members of the community since the incident occurred countless members of the community have come together and there's now a 24-hour watch posted of volunteers started by actually three young men who are members of the volunteer fire department but folks of all different backgrounds all different ages now are coming together to to keep a constant watch to ensure that nobody does this again what do you think the message is the, the message is evil and hate simply put there is no justification, there is no defense to defacing and desecrating a 9-11 memorial and then driving uh, you know, a couple hundred uh, feet up the road and uh, doing some destruction to a Catholic church parish center and putting graffiti and uh, you know, property destruction. There's just, it will never be okay in the United States of America, regardless of what the rhetoric may be, that it will never be okay to do this to our 9-11 heroes or to places of worship. Just for you personally, uh, obviously a New Yorker, uh, an American, and your dad was a 9-11 rescue worker, injured in the rescue efforts and kept going, even though he was injured, he's now retired. So this strikes very close to home. Your Democratic opponent, uh, Sarita Bankara, said this, this was an absolutely dreadful act for all Americans, especially those who lost loved ones on that terrible 9-11 day. Is a scar in our heart, the declaration of the monument, the desecration of the monument, as well as the senseless vandalism at St. Mary's was a shock for our community, but we will come together to rebuild. Now, if you think about that, just further upstate, they took out Frederick Douglass's statue. So I'm just wondering, are you trying to make this country better, or are you trying to destroy the country? What is the message we're supposed to take away with this? Really, it just makes no sense that somebody would do this, especially to a location which is a community gathering point. This 9-11 memorial is the site of the largest uh, memorial ceremony every September 11th, uh, hosted by the retired firemen, FDNY firemen of Orange County. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people come every year. I know they're already in the planning process again for, for this year. And again, it's also part of a, an open park area where people from not only the immediate community, but the, the larger region come walk their dogs, play with their children. And, and it's just one of those, doesn't matter, morning, noon or night, you drive by, it's lit up beautifully at night. It, it's a place where people can reflect, remember, and honor not only the Washingtonville Five heroes, but all members of the community who we lost on 9-11. You know, it's interesting because we have one in our town, too, uh, with a piece of one of the towers, but we fenced it in. And I think, it's, sadly, I think you're going to have to do the same thing and only open it up on, on special days uh, in, in America. It's just uh, sad where we're at right now. I'm so glad to see... This is something that brought your Democratic opponent on the same page as you. I just wish more Washington Democrats, like the Speaker of the House, who wants a saint statue come down in her own city of San Francisco, would have the same courage that you and your opponent had. Uh, thanks so much, uh, Colin Smith. Thanks for sharing the story. I wish you didn't have to. Thank you for having me.